So you as a human being, you have got nine gates. There are people who are struggling because knowingly or unknowingly, the devil got a chance to enter into your life. So you are fighting an external enemy while actually the enemy is internal. Because the devil got access into your life. Now the first scripture this amount of God said that where I am Mahali I have realized there is the presence of God it is the house of God and then he concluded by saying that this must be the gate to heaven gate to heaven and then Jesus said that upon Peter Julia Petoro, he shall build his church and the gates Malango of hell Yakuzimu. will not prevail against him. There is a gate to heaven. Kuna malango ya binguni. There are gates to hell. Kuna, uh, kuna malango ya kuzimu. Praise the Lord. Honestly. And for the spiritual purpose, Na kwa ya mambo ya kiroho, the gate or the opening could be in your life. Na katika malango unaweza kuwa katika maisha yako. So it is an opening into a city. Wako ni malango katika mji. Uh, or even into a house. Ama katika nyumba. Yeah. So what controls what comes into your life or goes out of your life is a gate. Kile kinazulia yale mambo ya naigia na kutoka katika maisha yako ni malango. Praise the Lord. Wana sikio. Now in the Bible, katika bibi. When we look at the gate and uh, what Jesus was talking about, when he said that the gates of hell will not prevail, there was something that was, uh, that was behind the little meaning of the gate. Now, during that time of Jesus, at the gate, that is where the elders used to sit. Praise the Lord. So it was the focal point of power. Everything that was to be determined about the city was determined at the gate. The business for the rich people was conducted at the gate. If there was any military strategy, it was done at the gate. Praise the Lord. If there was any judgment that was to be passed by the elders, it was done at the gate. Now, what Jesus was talking about when he said that the gates of hell will not prevail, he was saying that the council that sits at the gate will not reveal against the church. Praise the Lord. Those, those men, those elders that <inaudible> were at the gate, they used to be very powerful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the book of Proverbs, <inaudible> Proverbs 31, <inaudible> verse 23, <inaudible> Proverbs 31, verse 23. The Bible says, the husband of a virtuous woman was known at the gate. The wife, uh, the husband of a virtuous woman was known at the gate. So what the Bible was actually saying, that this man, this husband, who has a wife, who takes care of him? Who you wanna own me? And I should be who you Who makes good clothes for him? And I take another one Zuri. Who feeds him well? Am I an ambalisha Zuri? When he sits upon the castle, the elders at the gate. And Apoka Captain Mongoli Mowase. He can be recognized. And I never can believe. The Bible says he is not at the gate. And at Julikana, Wamalango. Praise the Lord. So even those who are at the gate, as well as you go at Kamalango, it mattered who was who. It is not everybody who could sit at the gate. Hallelujah. Now, the Bible talks about Abraham's nephew. Lord. 
Abraham's nephew. Abraham's uh, nephew. And the Bible says that, yeah. that he sat at the gate of Sodom as an elder. Na Biblia nasema alikuwa anakaa katika malango ya Sodomu kama mzee. Praise the Lord. Bwana asifiwe. So, these people, these council, these elders, kwa hivyo hawa watu, hawa wazee that sat at the gate, waliokaa katika malango, they were very uh, they, they, were, they were very significant. Walikuwa na maana sana because they determined who will enter and who will not enter. Kwa sababu walitegemea nani ataingia ama kutoka. These elders at the gate, they could not get a stranger who has come in. Wakaenda kutambua mtu ambaye ni mgeni akikuja. Like the the, the 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 elders, the men that was that was saved by Rahab. Kama wale wazee waliokolewa na Rahabu. It was not that they have entered in the gate. Walitukikana waliingia kupitia malango.